Man, I got some work to do around here, man. I gotta, I gotta put some shit together. Crazy. Hey, how you doing? Duff here. Just wanted to do a very quick video talking about a problem that was uh, frustrating me for about a month and my uh, surprisingly simple and easy fix for it. Had to do with my Creality CR10S Pro, first version. Uh, this printer has been very good for me. Um, it's, it's been reliable, it's quiet. Um, I, I changed the auto leveling sensor on it. This also has a micro Swiss hot end on it as well. I don't know if you can tell by looking down in there, that's a micro Swiss hot end. And like I said, it's, it's printed great for a long time. Um, set you there. But all of a sudden, like, like I said, about a month ago, it started to uh, under extrude badly after starting a print. I did all kinds of troubleshooting with it. I wondered if it was filament related, you know, because since the, um, the pandemic started, filament has been hard to come by. I usually buy my filament on Amazon. I used to almost try to exclusively get Hatchbox for my printers other than my Prusa, um, and I haven't been able to get it. So I've been jumping around, kind of grabbing whatever filament I could get, and I wondered if the under extrusion had to do with uh, changing filaments. Tried several filaments, same problem. Um, I would start a print, it would go, it would, the first layer would look fine, and I'd come back 10, 15 minutes later, and it's under extruding, under extruding, all the way to the point where it would stop extruding whatsoever, and the, the extruder gears were just grinding on the filament. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Really frustrated me. I reached out to Tiny Machines 3D. I bought uh, my Ender 3 Pro there, and, and a lot of accessories uh, from there as well. They've, they've been really good for support. If you're looking for a Creality printer I, and you're in the US, I really recommend that you look into tinymachines3d.com. Uh, they have been fantastic to deal with. I really like them. But anyways, they asked them, I, I described the stuff that I troubleshooted to, um, to try to resolve the problem. They gave me a, a few other ideas. You know, they said, you know, pull, pull the tube out, which actually is not very easy on a micro Swiss hot end if you've ever, if you've ever tried it. That plastic collet, uh, it's, it's a real bitch to get out, but I, I, did, I did get the tube out and some filament directly through it, and it seemed to be okay. It seemed to be feeding okay. Ran some cleaning filament through it, just in case it was clogged, even though it didn't really show anything. Pulled it out, put it back together, ran some filament again, started to print. Same thing. Ten minutes in, starts to under extrude. I'm like, son of a bitch, this is annoying me, because like I said, it's been going on for a month. I, was, you know, I haven't been able to uh, focus on it uh, all that much, but every time I do, I, I kept running into frustration. So I just kind of put it on the back burner because I have all these other printers to uh, you know, keep me occupied. So. so anyways, this past weekend, I decided to take another crack at it. Got that tube out, again, looking at it, and I'm like, okay, well maybe the nozzle, even though it looked okay, you know, it wasn't ground down or anything. It looked fine. Maybe the nozzle needs to be replaced, or maybe the nozzle is clogged, even though it didn't make sense, because if I manually just pushed filament through uh, from the top, I, I could get it to come out, and it didn't seem like it was obstructed. So I crank up the Z, heat up the hot end to 250 or something like that, and I grab my little, my little tool to take uh, the hot end out, and, and I, I turn, and it, it, it spun freely. Like, I had to apply no pressure. It was basically finger tight. So basically, um, I took the tool, I cranked it tight, and uh, did a print, problem fixed. All that frustration was because the nozzle, and, and I've never had this happen with any of my other 3D printers, I never had the nozzle work its way loose when, once you tighten it, but somehow the nozzle on the Micro Swiss hot end worked its way loose. Because it was loose, it was not making good uh, contact with the rest of the hot end, so it must not been um, proper temperature. Hence, it was under extruding after a short, a short while. So yeah, it's fixed. Works great now. Just, just uh, did um, a couple of these parts. These parts are, you know, 12 hour prints, 12, 13 hour prints, the two of them uh, worked totally fine, no problem. So I feel safe saying the problem is fixed. If you have a printer that is under extruding mysteriously, I don't know if this is a, a trait of micro Swiss hot ends. I, I don't know, this is the only one that I have. But if you have problems with under extrusion, make sure your nozzle is tightened all the way into the heat block. That's all I can tell you. Would have saved me a boatload of frustration and troubleshooting. So that's all I have. Just wanted to uh, hopefully save someone some hassle down the road. Um, if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. 
this is your first time visiting the channel, please uh, consider subscribing. And if you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell, which is over there somewhere. Duff 3D channel has very few subscribers. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely appreciate a sub over there. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below, especially if you've seen this problem before. I'm curious how uh, prevalent it is. I, I don't know. First time it's ever happened to me. So, um, yeah, but that's it. Hope you're having a great week. Till next time, Duffman out. I really like my CR 10S Pro, but I love my Prusa MK MK3S's.